the next sense you want to learn about today? Of course, the sense of taste. Your favorite, isn't it? Humans have a very developed sense of taste. We love to eat varied flavors. We are also the only living things that artificially flavor and cook our food to enhance its taste, aren't we? We can detect these flavors thanks to the taste buds on our tongues. Let's take a closer look at your tongue. Can you guess how many taste buds we have on our tongues? <laughs> Not even close. We have around 100,000 taste buds located on the front and back of our tongue. Okay, now guess this. How many tastes can your tongue detect? Wrong again. Actually, there are only a few basic tastes that can be detected by our buds, mainly being salty, sweet, bitter, sour, and umami. Confused by umami? It means meaty or savory, as in fish or ripe tomatoes. When you eat something, the saliva in your mouth breaks down the food, and the taste buds sense the basic tastes. This message is sent to the brain, which then detects the right flavor. Hold on there. Did you know that your sense of taste is incomplete without your sense of smell? Well, smell and taste go hand in hand. Our sense of smell is mainly provided by our nose. Your nose smells the molecules in the air and sends these messages to your brain. The brain can then tell you what you are smelling. As humans, our sense of smell is very poor. Many animals are blessed with a much keener sense of smell than us. When you eat something, the smell of the food plays a big role in detecting the right flavor of the food. In fact, without smelling, your apple and a pear would taste exactly the same. Now that you've heard so much, it's only fair that we talk about your sense of hearing. You can hear the music, the chirping of birds, the whisper of your friends, and the shouts of your mom, all thanks to your marvelous ear. Let's take a close-up. What you think is your ear is actually just your outer ear. It is shaped so, in order to tell which direction the sound is coming from. But in deeper, the ear consists of the ear canal, the middle ear, and the inner ear. The sound moves in the air freely. When the sound waves hit your ear, they travel inside your ear canal. Look out, an insect trap, earwax, right at the beginning. No insects allowed inside my ear, thank you very much. The waves travel on until they hit the eardrum in the middle ear, which acts quite like a drum. The eardrum is connected to special bones, the smallest bones of your body, in fact. These bones transmit the waves further to the inner ear. Your inner ear looks like a spiral full of liquid and tiny hair. These hairs move with the sounds and transmit that information to the brain. Did you know there are around 240,000 of these tiny hairs in the inner ear? Their message is interpreted by the brain as sound, and that's how you hear. Good, you didn't lose your balance and fall down. Your ear helped there, too. Yes, the liquid in your ear helps the body to maintain its balance at all times. Those five senses of yours are quite sensational, aren't they? Let's repeat our poem once more to celebrate them. Five senses for us to celebrate. Feel, hear, look, smell, and taste.